Hello all, how are you? On this lovely Monday, it is 35 degrees. Heat spell, since the fence are like 20 degrees. And we're supposed to get to the mid 50s by the end of the week. Crazy, 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 crazy weather. So my Jazzy here does not like to pee on the snow. Um, we are walking. Um, the sidewalk is semi-cleared. Well, by me it's clear, but our pathway that we walk, um, Jazzy, let's go in the street. Sorry, because the street is, well, oh, she wants to go. You want to go up here? By the, she likes to go by the fire hydrant. Come on. She likes to pee by the fire hydrant, typical dog. So I found out something. Belong, she's Havanese, and I belong to a Havanese group. Jazzy, that is not clear all the way, and I don't feel like walking in it. We should just pee already. So um, someone said, I see all you people posting pictures of your dogs with collars. Havanese's should not wear collars because they're subject to trachea something or other where their trachea's collapse it, when you walk them with the collar. Now, she has a collar, but as you can see, she has a harness on her jacket and when she doesn't have the jacket on, when it's warm out, she has a different harness. I just have the collar because it's easier to put her tags on the collar. So, learn something new. And I am going to... So, have not heard from Two Date Guy. Have not heard from the old new guy with the same name. And went on a date Sunday. I wasn't sure, like his pictures, I was like, meh. Very nice conversation though we had on the phone. So, um, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get my gloves on and I put my pointer finger in my thumb. Um, so I, we went Sunday, we met at 2.30. I really had an attitude like, oh, which was yesterday, um, an attitude like, I don't really care because I don't know that I'm interested. We had a great conversation. He looked better in person. Um, he's very devoted to his mom. His father was, I think I told you this, but I don't know if I did or not. So if I did, I, um, I apologize, but raging alcoholic, he didn't never hit them or his mother, but threw things, broke things. So he left when his sister was a baby, an infant, and he was three. So he kind of, um, you know, his mom was like my mom. I think I've, I, now I think I did say this. You know, he, I mean, my mom raised five, but his mom raised two. She did what she had to do, took the job. She had, you know, for a second job or whatever she had to do. Um, she then, when he was 17, going to be 18, his mom was 44 and she had a brain tumor. Now, she couldn't, like, I don't know what the whole story is, but... I don't think she could do what she was doing as far as work. So she wasn't making what she could have been making. So he felt compelled to take care of his mom, which is very sweet. And then from there, um, oh, she wants to go on this sidewalk. No, I, I don't think the whole sidewalk there is clear. So we're not going to do that. There's another, they cleared all around the fire hydrants, which 
I think they they must have done over the weekend. So maybe the they had to. I don't know. But and so then any woman he met, he would say to her, listen, you know, I live with my mom, take care of my mom, you know, I do what I can. She, you know, raised me and my sister by herself. He said a lot of women were like, see you, dude. I, I think that's very sweet. Um, I don't know what kind of woman his mom was, if she was very controlling of him and that's why he did he was I asked him if he ever came close to marriage and he said he did this one she was married for she got married young she was married for three years um they bought a house so they had enough money to buy a house she came home from work she thought oh my god we were robbed. And no, he emptied her, of course now ex-husband, but her husband at the time, emptied the house, emptied their joint checking account, savings account, and which I didn't think you could do, but maybe back then you could. Um, and left and had all these credit cards in both their names. I know that. And she was $100,000 in debt. And of course, she had to let the house go into foreclosure and, you know, all this stuff. So he was dating her for like three years. And then in October, she said she was very, like, her heart was very damaged um, from this, you know. I mean, I'd be devastated too. I mean... You, ha you don't even see it coming and you come home, your house is emptied out and your all your bank accounts are emptied out and oh my goodness, you know, I would be, whew. So, um, my dog is eating the snow. I don't know why. Oh, you're going to pee now. Um, she, so she was very, like her heart was very guarded, she said. Oh, they didn't clean the walkway for our other little path towards the back of the building. Oh, well. So, um, she kind of said, you know, I, I think we should break up. I think there's more feelings on your end than my end. I know you want to get married. You know, I can't see myself doing that again right now. And he talks her out of it. Then in November, and then on Christmas Day, Christmas Day, she broke up with them. I would have waited till the day after Christmas. Although his birthday's three days after Christmas. So the poor guy, he said on Christmas night, <coughs> I guess she waited till Christmas night. He said he was crying on his porch. So it's like, oh my goodness. So he, until his mom went in the nursing home a year ago, he was living with his mom taking care of her. She was in a wheelchair. So maybe that was it. Maybe she ended up in a wheelchair after her, her brain tumor. I don't know. I'll have to get the whole story, but I feel bad because I'm sure he told me, but I don't remember. Um, he did apologize to me. He's like, if you told me this already, I'm sorry. He's like, you know, we talked about so much. So and then, um, so, you know, we, we were talking and everything, um, you know, late lunch, early dinner. And I ordered tea because I didn't want it to end. He said no to dessert, but he bought me a piece of homemade pecan pie, which I love. Ooh, I can have that tonight. Forgot. He gave me a big, like a quarter of the pie. So I had a very small piece. So I'll probably get two more pieces out of it. So, cause pump, pecan pie is very sweet. So I'll probably get, you know, a piece tonight and a piece tomorrow night out of it. So, 
um, my, we call her my daughter-in-law, um, her rocking chair glider, an ottoman came, huge box. My son couldn't take it tonight, but he's going to take it Thursday because my couch comes. My covers came for my chair, but when I pulled up the cushion, I'm like, Ugh. I had to vacuum under the cushions, which I guess I thought my children did that before they moved them, but they didn't. They Velcro the cushions. So I love the covers. I think they're great. So I think they'll be fine. So tomorrow night and Wednesday night, I have to get all the boxes out of the living room and into the spare bedroom. And then I need to really empty them or organize. My daughter said um, in the one big box, it's a lot of Christmas stuff. Um, I looked at some of it and my friend makes these cards and they're card kits, which I really have to start making. And, um, I'm like, got too many balls in the air, like, but I'm going to put them all organized on the shelf in the spare bedroom. So they'll be all out of there. Um, and I, I have some clothes, like two pairs of cute little Levi's, two different size for, for little Dean, for my grandson coming in May. So I want to wash them. Um, I want to, and then a Denver Bronco shirt for him. My son's a Denver Bronco fan. Um, a little one, you know, pajamas um, that Austin, I gave him on his first Christmas. Um, his sweater from his first birthday. Now, I thought I had all his firsts. It might be in with the, the well, I have his christening outfit, but I don't think they're having them christened. Because they're not, they say they don't go to church, they're not religious, so... I got it. Um, and, but his outfit that he came home in the hospital in, and that his father also came in, home in the hospital in. So I'm thrilled about that. My little Jazzy has not been a good girl today. Um, I think sh she is mad for whatever reason. I did wash all her stuff. So it's nice and clean. So, but when I came home, she, one little poop, not like a lot, but one little poop. And then, no, we're going this way, Jazzer, because I'm not going on that sidewalk. It's all, it's all ice. I'm not falling on my butt. So, um, she, then when I came home from going to see my daughter, my granddaughter at gymnastics tonight, she pooped. A couple of poops. Luckily, hers are hard. Which I don't know that that's a good thing, but um, easy to clean up. Okay, so back to this guy. Sorry, I told you. You get 10 sub stories in one story from me. So um, he, wa he did walk me to my car and I have this sun thing that goes like over the window and it's on the inside outside. It's kind of like a sleeve. Everybody thinks my window's broken. So he's like, oh, you didn't tell me your window's broken. I said, no. I was like, it's not broken. And he's like, oh. So my granddaughter doesn't like the, you know, sun in her face. So and he's like, oh, okay. That makes sense. But then he, you know, kissed me goodbye. It's a very good kisser. He said, he's glad he didn't give up and best date he's had in a really long time and I mean it was just conversation and food so but there was never a lull in the conversation and he's very intelligent and 
to me, as you all know, that's an attraction. So when I don't know what I'm going to do because Sunday <laughs> cruise guy comes back and I know he's going to want to see me and I'm just going to have to be honest with him. I'm going to say, um, you did, did you not bring your phone on the cruise? And if he says, no, I did. I'll say, oh, I didn't hear from you. I said, I didn't expect to hear from you every day, but I didn't expect that I wasn't going to hear from you at all and see what he has to say. And then I'll take it from there. Um, I think the guy I saw yesterday is a better fit. Um, he is about 30 minutes away where to date guy is like 45, 40, 45. Um, to date guy is retired. He has another cruise that he leaves for on February 12th for 14 days, I believe. And then another one, March 2nd to the 10th. That's a seven day. So I'm like, you really want someone that's retired. And he like wanted to come this way. He like kind of pushed to come back to my place. He's like, oh, we'll just sit there, cuddle, yeah. I mean, we didn't have sex, but we fooled around a little bit. So this guy is being very much a gentleman and met halfway. And I'm like, you know what? If this doesn't work out with this guy, guess what? This is what I want. I want someone that's gonna be a gentleman and that's gonna say, let's meet halfway. Let's, you know, he lives around here. And, you know, not right away getting into, you know, this, you know, sex talk and whatever. I mean, this guy seems, he like hinted to something, but um, he didn't really come out. And he, like I said, gentlemen, so I like that. And that's what I, that's what I need. I need someone that's going to be like that. So none of this crap with this. Um, and I don't know. I just, um, I don't know if I told you this, but like he was all like turned on and whatever. And he pulled out his phone, two date guy pulls out his phone he's like oh I hope you don't mind he got me all riled up and he like gets himself off and it's like oh my god right in front of me like at the time I'm like okay because I guess he's like oh you're not gonna so but now the more I think about it like I'm like oh my god that was so rude that really was um uh, that was just, ugh. now it just turns me off, like thinking about it. I, in the moment I was like, oh, okay, you know, and, uh, you know, I got up, walked away, whatever, but I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Like, no, like he didn't care if I was there. He didn't say walk away or could have went in my bathroom, you know, I'm just like, hmm. This is really, come on, Jazzy. Oh, she can't, she can't shake because there's too much tension. Come on, come on. I have to take that. Uh, so I don't want to go in yet. She needs to walk more. Come on, baby. She's like, hasn't been walking that much, but so yeah, so that's, that's a turn off. I, I think, you know, the more I think about it, I guess I got more time to think about him with him not being here and not being in touch. And the other guy with the same name, I haven't heard from him. So, and this is how he goes. So uh, like, uh, I'm just, I'm over it. So this guy already, he, he has a set schedule with his mother because he said, you know, set schedule works with her. She, he writes it on the calendar. She's got the start of dementia. So 
she looks at the calendar, knows he's coming. The nurses tell her. So he went today. And I'm thinking he goes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Because he said he goes three days during the week and on Saturday. And then his sister goes Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So, um, and she has, uh, I guess they're older, her kids. Because she has a 31-year-old. So I'm thinking, hmm. She's three years younger than him and a 31-year-old. So she was young when she had her kids. So, um, and I find, what I find weird, though, is he never, he's only gone to two weddings. <laughs> and I'm like, really? So his sisters, and I don't know who the other one is. But um, that woman that he, that she talked him out of it, she... Um, oops. Come on. Come on, Jesse. Come on. Come on. So, um, he was going to propose on Valentine's Day. So, she was right to, you know, and they're still friends. Come on, Jazz. So, there's another dog out. Um, so, she, come on, Jazz. Come on. Come on, baby. So, um, she, is, you know, she was right too. And he said, we're still friends. And I think she's married now. And, um, the only thing he's, you know, he said he wishes he had kids and people said he would be a great dad. And, um, so that's the closest he got. He was in long-term relationships, he said, but, um, and some with kids. But it didn't really lead like it ended. and <coughs> So I don't know why it ended. I didn't ask. But um, I think one was seven years. So, But he hasn't been in a relationship. Well, one ended. He was with someone 2021. To 2023 this time last year so it hasn't been in a relationship since last year so um and it seems he's been in long-term relationships since he's older he said in his 20s early 30s towards the end of his 30s beginning of his 40s he was like you know he used to date like more than one woman and he did the personals <laughs> and uh i was like oh my god like wow so yeah so that was a little weird it's like, oh my God, I guess people met that way back then. Um, I guess he wasn't a bar person. Um, so, yeah, and he already asked me for Saturday night. After he leaves his mother, um, he goes to see her and then he feeds her um, dinner. So, he asked me for like 6.30. And I said, well, to me, he goes depending, you know, how quick his mom eats or whatever. Might be seven, you know, like a late dinner. So I was like, well, I could come a little closer to you because it took him, he said 17, well, GPS said 17 minutes. It didn't exactly take him that long. Mine said 21. It took me 35. I don't know exactly how long it took him. But so I said, you know, I'll go like 30 minute so you figure that's like he fit it's like 35 minutes i think to him 30 35 depending on traffic so if i go like 30 i don't want to go i said not you know like probably 10 minutes from your house so he's like okay that works thank you so um he was he's probably texting me because my phone's been you know blowing up but I am, I said, walking the dog. And then he's, you know, texting, 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 I'm sure. It's him, but whatever. But, so, this looks promising. Like I said, he's not Mr., you know, oh my God, gorgeous. But he, you know, he isn't that looking at all. And I've learned. Um, being a gentleman and the way he treats me, and I think he treat me really good. Um... I don't know if he gets too overwhelming, and I don't want that. So, but we will see. So, all around, good weekend. So, I hope everybody else had a good weekend. 
talk to you later. Bye.